All right, so this video, let's take a look at solving a system of equations on a TI-84+. Plus. So you can see here we've got three equations and three unknowns. We've got to solve for x, y, and z. Now, before we start plugging this into the calculator, there's, a, there's something you've got to understand about solving an equation. is It's in this form here, a times x equals b. Okay, so a is our coefficient matrix. Okay, so the way that we get that, a, is if you look at just this part of the system, everything on the left-hand side of the equal sign, you see the coefficient of x is 1, the coefficient of y is negative 2, and the coefficient of z is 4. Well, there's your 1, negative 2, and 4. And same thing here, 1, 1, 13. 1, 1, 13, and then negative 2, 6, negative 1, and there's that. And then B, this B right here, that's your constant matrix. That's the numbers on the right-hand side of the equal sign, 6, 6, negative 10. That's this. And then this X here, our variable matrix, that's X, Y, and Z. All right, so the way that we have to do this is we have to multiply this through by the inverse of A. So if we multiply this side and this side right here by A inverse, then that's going to leave us with this, X equals A inverse times B. So basically to solve this, You've got to multiply the inverse of this matrix times the constant matrix. So first, let's go ahead and enter in each matrix. We've got to enter in matrix A and matrix B. So you come here to second, and then you see matrix here above the inverse key. So you hit the inverse key because we've mashed the second. So you hit that. Now I'm going to store this in A. So I want to move over to edit and I want to put it in A. So the A is highlighted so I'm going to hit enter and this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So I'm going to enter in the 3 and then a 3 for my 3 by 3 matrix and so there we have it. Now I just enter in each one of these numbers. So I enter in the 1 so I hit 1, enter, and that puts it in this spot. And then I've got to enter in the negative 2. Now when you enter in negative 2, make sure you don't hit the minus sign. Hit the negative sign down here. So negative 2, enter, and then 4, enter, 1, enter. See, I'm here now. 1, enter. 13, enter, negative 2, 6, and negative 1, and hit enter. So we've got matrix A entered into the calculator. So now we need to enter in matrix B. So I'm going to hit second and quit. I'm going to get out of that, and then I'm going to go back to the matrix. Now see, I've got the 3 by 3 entered in here for A. Now I need to enter this in for B. So I'm going to go down to 2. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back up. I'm going to scroll over to Edit, and the A is highlighted. So I'm going to go down to 2, where, so I've got the B. Hit Enter. Now this is a 3 by 1 matrix. I've got 3 rows and 1 column. So I'm going to enter in the 3, and then... That's the three rows, and then I'll go over here. That's one, so we're good there, so hit Enter. And so now let's plug in the six, Enter. This six, Enter. And then the negative 10, negative 10, Enter. All right, so now I've got B entered, so I'm going to quit out of that. And see, look, if I go here to Matrix, See, I've got both matrices entered in. So let's come back out here. So remember, what I have to do to get X, Y, and Z, I've got to 
multiply the inverse of a, okay? So the inverse of a, I'm going to go to second matrix, and I'm going to select a. See, I'm on this one now, names. I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to hit this inverse button here, this x inverse. So I hit that, and then times, and then I'm going to go back to the matrices. So I'm going to hit second and then go to matrix, and then I'm going to select B, and I'm going to hit enter. And so this is multiplying the inverse of A times B, and I hit enter, and there's my solution. See, that's X, Y, and Z. So that's negative 14 is X, negative 6 is Y, and Z is 2. All right, so I hope this video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.